In the last tutorial that I showed you how to start a blog, part one, I showed you how to set up a Google account, uh, which is free. So I'll just uh, repeat how to uh, get to your blog site. This is one method to do it, or you can bookmark it on your browser, whether it's uh, Fi Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer. So once you're on the Google homepage, the search engine, you go up here. I'm already signed in and you probably will be because Google will remember you and keep you signed in. So all we do is we click settings, Google accounts, settings, and here we've got the blogger icon. So we click blogger, that'll take us to our uh, all the various blogs we have if you have several blogs which I do okay so in the last tutorial I started a blog site called Python Tipper so we want to alter or configure the settings for blogger we only need to do this once but it's a process we need to go through so on the bottom here edit posts comments look at the comments we have okay we just want to click settings to have a look at the settings and configure them okay the first setting tab is basic settings okay so here's the title of the blog I've written a short description about what the blog is about now we have these settings add your blog to our listings that's default yes you do want to be listed on the uh, blogger and also the Google search engine list search engines find your blog yes that's default yes so leave it at that quick editing on your blog leave that as yes it's a default so email post links leave that as no adult content well this uh, blog isn't an adult site uh, we have select post editor the default is updated editor recommended leave that default so everything on that page is default uh, but to be safe click save settings if you have changed anything that'll be updated next tab is publishing this is the name of our uh, blog site we don't want to change that so we leave that as it is formatting tab so how many posts so this will show seven posts on the main page so leave that as a default you might want to increase that maybe to 10 uh, the date header format so it shows the day the month the date and the year that's default leave it as it is archive index date format so what that means is it's november it's the month of november now but when it's December all the articles that you've written during November will be put in an archive file I'll be able to show you what that is later uh, and it will show the month and the year so leave that as default timestamp you've got various choices here but I prefer the simple uh, 9.58 a.m. showing a.m. or p.m time zone you need to set that for whatever your time zone is I live in Canberra which is in the eastern time zone of Australia so choose the time zone so you know what times people have commented on, commented on your blog site language English well I'm speaking Australian but that's English convert line breaks leave all these as default Okay, all those settings are default so you would have changed your time zone once again go down the bottom click save settings and up here we have settings were saved successfully okay now we go to comments tab the settings tab comments we want to show them it's good to have people to make comments if they make comments and you read the comments it will give you an idea of 
you know, if people have questions, how you can write another article on your blog site, uh, clarifying what people may have asked, the questions, who can comment, default it's registered users, okay, registered users, but we'll set it to anyone at this stage. Now, there is a risk that you may get spam. If that's the case, you may then decide I'll use registered users. But at this stage, set it to anyone. Comment form placement. By default, it says embed below post. That's uh, the best option anyway. Uh, when people click on your post, they read the, uh, the article and then at the bottom there's all comments listed so I like when I go to a blog site I also like to read the comments to see what people say they may have questions or even suggestions that uh, you may not have thought of with your your article comments default for posts new posts have comments so yes once you put an article up you definitely want people to comment on it that's default so you don't have to worry about that backlinks uh, what that means is people who have written an article about your your article or your blog and they put a link on their site to your blog those links will show under your comments by default it's hide and at this stage I would suggest have it set up hide okay so backlinks default for posts new posts have backlinks comments timestamp okay that's all default comment moderation never that means you don't have to uh, when a person makes a comment if it's moderated it means that comment won't show until you've actually seen the comment and approved it. At this stage, you're starting out with your blog, so you don't want to moderate. Later on, if you start getting spam, then you can click the Always tab or radio button to say that you want to moderate the comments so you can delete the spam. Okay, now have an email address uh, if someone it says here email you at this address when a non-member leaves a comment on your blog so it means you'll be getting emails if you can become very popular and you get a lot of comments you don't want to put your email address there you just want to look at the comments when you go on your blog site it cuts down emails coming through to you okay so word verification for comments definitely yes uh, if you don't that means spam bots can put comments on your website but if you click yes verification word verification it means only a human can do that they have to type in a word or numbers to confirm that they are actually a human and not a spy bot so profile images on comments that's default yes and definitely yes it'd be nice to see who the people are or what they look like who are making comments on your website uh, comment notification email that's my Google email now when you set up a Google account which is free you also get a Google email a Gmail address Okay, so we click save settings on that. So we save any changes that we may have made. Archiving. The archiving settings tab. Uh, you want to archive monthly. You can also change it daily, weekly or monthly. It's default monthly. Leave it per month. Uh, enable post pages. By default it's yes. And most definitely yes. Okay, I'll make a habit of save settings just to be safe. Site feed. Now, what this refers to is an RSS feed. I won't go into detail about this one because you can use FeedBurner and I'll 
in a, another tutorial I'll show you how to set up FeedBurner where people uh, can subscribe to an RSS feed via FeedBurner and you also get statistics on how many people have, to, have subscribed uh, so it's a good tool to have so we'll leave this page at, at its default settings email and mobile now this means what this means is that you can type a blog in your uh, email application such as Outlook and you can email it to be posted on your blog or via a mobile phone some of you may use Twitter uh, where you tweet from your mobile you can also do that uh, with the blogger blog site you can actually post articles that you uh, type out on your mobile phone I don't like using this myself so I just leave that as default open ID tab ok your blog site will actually be your open ID URL so we'll just leave that as it is OK, blog authors, there's only one, that's me. OK, so that's it, that's uh, all there is uh, to the settings on your blog site.